Hello, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. Discord stickers. What are they? What are they for? How do you upload them? How many do you get? Where can you even use these things? You're going to find the answers to all of those questions and more in this video. Discord stickers have recently been released and they were previously hidden behind like a nitro paywall on Discord. Well, now Discord stickers are not behind the paywall. Every server will get at least five stickers free. If you have nitro, you can use other people's stickers in your server. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can upload them, how you can upload them, some parameters that you need to keep within like the file type and the sizing, and then also where you can sort of use these, what they look like, and some other the tips and tricks. If you find this useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I have done something like 30 different Discord tutorials. That is a lot of Discord tutorials. You may find my channel useful. Let's go. So like all good YouTubers, the first thing I did when I found out about stickers was to Google what are Discord stickers. Here's just a quick description here. What are they? It's a cross between an emoji and a GIF. It's a large image, often in a cartoon style, that expresses something. So it's basically just a large emote. You can customize these for your own server, and you can also collect them from other people's servers that you exist within. Back in October, they began testing them, and they did previously have them behind a paywall, and now you get five of them free if you own a server. You can upload five stickers to your server. Straight away, Nitro subscribers will be able to access the 300 Discord stickers that are available. So these are sort of like standard Discord stickers that are available. You probably will recognize some of these. Most people will see them within the welcome channel. For example, when you say wave to say hi, you get different sticker examples and you get all kinds of different types. And there's just absolutely loads of these. You get access to these straight away. That's kind of cool. So Discord stickers can be animated or they can be sort of static images. Images. Obviously, the quickest and easiest way to get these uploaded is a static PNG file, but I also walk through some of the other file types that are accepted for Discord stickers. Now, it does say in this article that you can only get these once they are boosted to level one in your server. I don't think that is the case because I don't currently have any boosts here and I do have access to these stickers and I'll show you that in this video. However, you guys can test this for me. If you do not have access to this, it could well be because I've opened up extra features in my Discord server that allows me to have those stickers. Also, just to note here that the stickers themselves will automatically appear next to GIFs and emojis. It literally appears right in between the two. And that's kind of symbolic because stickers from Discord are sort of a cross between a GIF and an emoji. What size do Discord stickers need to be? 320 by 320 pixels, exactly. You cannot be above or below. It has to be an exact 320 by 320 pixel image. And I'll go through the file types here. There's an A. APNG. I think APNG is like animated PNG. I've never used APNGs before. Lottie also never used that file type before, but I have used PNGs a lot before. I guess APNGs is meant to compete with GIFs or something like that. It's got a maximum file limit of half a megabyte or 500 kilobytes. You also get the option to suggest an emoji that is similar to your sticker, and I'll try and demonstrate that in this video. Finally, you can also give a text description and a name to the sticker. So there are actually two ways that I've seen that you can add these stickers to your server and I'll show the easiest way first. If you own a server, now bear in mind you have to own a server, you will not be able to add your own custom stickers to somebody else's server. I feel like that should go without saying but I know there'll be some people that'll say I couldn't add stickers to someone else's server. Yeah of course you can't idiot. It's in this section here next to the gif between the emoji and you click on this one in the middle which is the sticker icon. Now I can click gif and emojis within here and you'll see it skips to here. It's this middle icon icon here and that's available on any discord server you just need to make sure that the channel you're going in actually has the ability to like actually have stickers and emojis and things like that if you're trying to do this within one of your channels that doesn't allow you to have emojis or stickers or even chat then you will not be able to do this it will obviously be locked now straight away here you can do a search for any particular sticker you may have but you get access to any stickers that are available if you've got nitro within the servers that you exist in so for example if i'm a nitro over 
owner on Discord, because I'm in this OBS community and they've uploaded all these stickers, I would automatically get access to these stickers to use anywhere on Discord. These are all the custom Discord ones that you get access to. Now, if you want to upload one of these to your own server, find your server on the list and you can click add sticker. Clicking that will add this menu here. Another way of accessing these menus, if you want to upload your own custom Discord stickers, is within your server settings. Click on the server settings here and right there, stickers, the fourth item down in the menu. Here, you can upload your custom Discord stickers by clicking on upload here. And as I said, you get five free slots in every single server. If you're level one, two or three, you get 10, 15 or 30 more sticker slots and this shows you the total number that you get as well when you've got stickers uploaded in this area you can delete them with this cross button here or edit them with this button here so i'm just going to delete this one here just to illustrate exactly what that looks like i now have no stickers on my discord server click upload sticker first we need to browse to the file itself again this needs to be 320 by 320 and one of those file types that i showed earlier you get a preview on black and white remember if it's png it will have a clear background you may want to consider putting some white and black outlines around what you've got we see here it should be no more than 512 which kind of contradicts with that article earlier next up we can assign an emoji that most represents our sticker for me it obviously it has to be the robot because I am a machine so whenever someone uses the robot emoji in my server it will suggest to display this sticker we can now give it a name MD logo and a description this is the best sticker on discord Click upload, that will upload and it will immediately become available on your server. There's, you don't have to save this, it just does it automatically and you get a preview of it here. And like I said, you can add up to five here by clicking the upload sticker. We'll now go into the sticker section here and I'm going to click on my sticker and there it is. It appears straight away and you can see MD logo is the description and I can click on this to learn more about the stickers in my server. And I've even got a quick access to get Nitro. They're obviously doing this to try and get more people onto Nitro, but at least they're giving good value for money for nitro i said i would try demonstrating the emoji that suggests to use your sticker and i just tried this and it's really really simple and straightforward so if i now type robot here first of all just typing robot gets a little icon here it's found it within the server settings see even as i've just started typing robot it's flagged the md logo which is similar to robot so it's a matching sticker even just to the word ro which is kind of cool I think. Quick final tip before I wrap up the video, easygift.com forward slash APNG dash maker. I'll drop this link in the description below. You can create and customize and animate static PNGs to make them APNGs just in case you wanted to do all kinds of different things. So that was Discord stickers. Hopefully you found that useful. I think they're pretty cool to use. I think it's also one of those things that you might just collect and start to use them and it's something a little bit different to GIFs and emotes. If you did find this useful, please hit the like button it only takes a second and really helps me out and also feel free to subscribe have a good day take care